Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I am going to tell you how to install Runcam Mini FPV external DVR onto your drone frame guys and connect it to the flight controller. In my previous videos guys, I have already done the in-depth review of this Runcam Mini FPV DVR guys and also told you how to wire this onto your flight controller and connect it to the camera. If you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. So guys, if you are new to assembling drone, ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribe to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos let's get started before we can start wiring things up onto the drone frame let me walk you through again on how I'm going to connect this onto my flight controller before that let's quickly open this box and see the content inside so you normally get a DVR here inside the box and then on to the bottom of the box guys you get some of the accessories here you have the mounting screws the JST connector and the pin holder to hold your SD card onto your DVR so that is what you have inside this transparent packaging there is nothing more inside the box guys other than the labeling and the top side branding that you have let's keep the box aside here on to the DVR guys, as you know, it has a five volt in and ground. That is how we are going to power this up. And then you have a video out and high low. This is the video output pin guys, which will go onto the flight controller guys, so that whatever is recorded onto this DVR is being transmitted in parallel onto your OSD of the flight controller. So that is what it is used for. And then you have a high low pin here guys, so as to be able to control it using the free UART pin onto your flight controller in an association mode guys, so as to be able to turn on the recording and turn off the recording using the flight controller itself. On to the other side guys, you have 5 volt out in ground so as to be able to power any other peripherals using the 5 volt regulator that you have on board. And then guys, you have video in and audio in to get the video signal and the audio signal from the camera and record it right here on the SD card. Here guys, you have a switch so as to be able to start and stop the recording. In addition to that guys, it also will be able to format the SD card which is installed onto this SD card holder. Onto the top guys, here you have the SD card holder guys. And onto the back guys, you have the controller and the five volt regulator inbuilt. So that is what you have on the DVR guys. Now let's quickly wire this up and install it onto your drone frame. So onto the drone frame guys, in my previous videos, I have already installed the VTX onto the back side guys. If you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. As you know guys, from the VTX, you have a spare red and black wire. This is a five volt output guys coming out of the VTX. That is how I'm going to power my DVR, which is my five volt in and ground that is going to be red and black wire coming out of my VTX. And then guys, here you have video input pin guys here onto the flight controller so as to be able to install the video output port of your DVR onto this flight controller guys. So that is how as of now I'm going to connect this DVR guys in my future videos guys onto the video input. I will be able to connect a camera that I'm going to install here on this drone frame guys so ensure that you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on those videos here onto the screen guys i will also give you an high level overview of the complete wiring diagram which shows the complete connection of this dvr onto the camera and to the flight controller as well guys so as to give you guys an high level overview on how the complete connection would look like so now guys let's quickly start with the soldering and connect the wires onto this flight controller and this dvr so guys, before we can start soldering anything onto the flight controller, let's quickly tin the ports that we are going to use. So here you have five volt and out. Since I'm not going to use it, I'm not going to tin. So here you have video input pin guys. So I'm going to tin that video input pin since I'm going to use it. So I have tinned it. Onto the other side guys, here you have high and low guys, which I'm not going to use. And then you have video out, which I'm going to use guys. So I will tin that port. And then you have ground and five volt. 
so guys since we have successfully tinted all the ports guys now let's quickly start with the installation on to the video output guys i am going to connect this wire so as to be able to connect it to the video input port of the flight controller so this is the wire that i'm going to use so this is connected guys on to the other side we'll go on to the flight controller guys so that is how i'm going to connect it so guys the next pin are 5 volt in and ground which is coming out of the vtx this red and black red is going to be the 5 volt in and black is going to be ground so let's quickly connect those as well so let's first connect the ground so this is the ground guys let's quickly connect it So ground is connected. Let's connect the 5 volt. So the 5 volt is connected as well. So here you can see all the wires are now connected. On to the flight controller guys. Here you have video input pin guys. So that is where this blue wire is going to go. So let's quickly connect that as well. So as you can see guys, my video input pin is now connected. To the video output pin of my dvr so that is how guys my partial connection of the dvr goes guys in my next video guys i will also be connecting the input pin of the dvr onto the camera guys so ensure that you stay tuned to my channel so guys i am going to install this dvr onto the back side like this off to the front part of the drone frame guys so that guys here you have the on off switch which is accessible onto the side and onto the other side guys i will be also be able to access the sd card slot guys so i will be installing the dvr here onto the back side guys so as you know guys this dvr also comes with the sd card holder guys so this is the SD card holder pin guys that I'm going to install onto the top of the DVR. So I will be using some small screws and nuts to be able to install this. These are M2 screws guys that I'm going to use here on to install this. So these are the M2 screws guys and there is a M2 nut that I have here guys. These are all that we are going to use to install this clip onto the top. So to install the clip guys, so as to not to lose your SD card, which is there onto this DVR guys, that is how you're going to place it onto the top. So the side which has a notch guys onto the back stays onto the front and outside so as to keep the SD card inside and then align the holes and put the screws and tighten this up using the nuts that you have. So let's do that quickly. using the nuts we will tighten this up so that it stays at its place so one side is connected I will connect the other side as well in the same way put in the screw and then tighten it up using the nut that we have guys this is the smaller nut we are going to put it onto the back side and then quickly tighten this up so as you can see guys my dvr connection is complete so here you can notice that it has 5 volt in and ground and then video out which is going on to my flight controller video in and then the camera video out is going into this dvr so it's going to record at the same time it's going to bypass it onto the flight controller so that is how guys we are going to connect the dvr now since the dvr is connected let's quickly install it onto the drone frame guys so this is the plate guys where i'm going to install this dvr guys so before we do that let's remove this plate from the drone frame so as to be able to install it easily as you know guys i'm going to install this dvr onto the back side of this so it's going to stay like this the wire is going to go on to the front and it's going to be stick like this onto the back so that it is not visible so to do that guys 
I will first put the DST onto this and then stick it onto the back side. And later guys, I will tie it up using the zip ties so that it holds on to its place. So that is how I'm going to install. Also guys, one thing to notice, your SD card holder will be facing on to that side guys so as to be able to access your SD card directly from the other side. And then you have a turn on and off button guys here also that is going to be facing on to this side. So both the ports are going to be accessible right from this side where you will be able to access it even after the installation without removing the screws. So that is why guys, I'm going to install it like that. Let's put the DST. So this is the DST guys that I'm going to put here onto the back and stick it. And then I'm going to remove the other side so as to be able to stick it onto this plate. So let's do that as well. So I've removed it. Let's stick it onto the back so that it stays in the center like this just push it so that it sticks firmly onto this plate now let's install back the plate guys as you can see the DST is now sticking this and holding this DVR onto its place now let's quickly tighten this up using the screws that we had So this is it guys, this is how you install the DVR onto the flight controller and connect it to the camera. So as to be able to record the videos directly from the camera and then transmit it to the flight controller and then in turn which is going to be transmitted using the VTX which is installed onto your drone frame. So this concludes this tutorial guys. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.